At OPAR, we're a double bottom line company. Our mission is to help everybody in the world save energy. So it's important that we ourselves are helping save energy. And we encourage all our employees to bike to work, to walk, to take uh, you know, public transportation. And so we are well on our way to helping meet our mission. So we offer a $100 a month subsidy for all of our full-time employees to allow them to get to work however they choose. So if the employees decide to bike to work, walk to work, drive to work, metro to work, the employees can use the subsidy for anything that they want to, whether it's a bike tune-up or new walking shoes or um, to add to their smart trip card so they can metro to work easier, to put money on their easy pass if they commute in, uh, they can use it for anything that they want. We also partner with WageWorks, who provides our employees with pre-tax benefits for both uh, mass transit and parking. So they can set aside up to $130 a month pre-tax and then also up to $250 pre-tax for parking. When we think about office space, we know it's important to be close to multiple modes of transportation, being close to the metro, being close to bus stops, and being in an area that's easy for folks to bike to. Uh, we've got bike racks on all our floors so they can bring their bikes up. Uh, we have showers and towel service in the building so that they can get ready for work in the morning. You know, we do a couple of extra things like bring in bike mechanics to, to work on bikes during the day. We have people sign up a couple days beforehand uh, and we split the cost of a tune-up with our employees. And we support Bike to Work Day by offering uh, free breakfast to all the bike riders in the mornings. Only 33% of our employees actually drive to work, so about two-thirds of our employees actually find other means to get to work. Based on our employee population, each year, each day, we take about 213 cars off of the road between the hours of 7 and 10 in the morning and then 5 and 7 in the evening. Uh, so I think that that takes somewhere around um, 82,000 gallons of gas that aren't used. I see the program expanding. You know, we're always looking for creative ways to add benefits and perks to the company for our employees. So I definitely think that our transportation program is going to continue to evolve over the next coming years. Wedding Wire um, really likes to focus on making sure we have the right commuter benefits package for our employees. So one part of that being the commuter subsidy that we provide to our employees, which adds up to $50 a month to use for whatever commuter expense. A second part of that being the transportation and parking FSA that we provide. Wedding Wire hosts an internal secret um, Facebook page for Wedding Wire employees only. And what's really great about that is that an employee can go and post company-wide any information they'd like. Um, in regards to commuter resources, employees will use the Facebook to post, hey, help, I live in this area, what's the best way to commute to the office? Because my drive happens to be an hour plus and I'd like to try and cut that short. So just like ha how we have the internal Facebook page, we also have an internal intranet page, which we like to use as a one-stop shop for um, any benefits needs and facilities needs, which includes the commuter resources as well as um, the FSA plans. So the Biggest Loser competition happened um, late last year. The premise behind that was to help get people more active. So it was kind of a steps movement challenge where you would track how many steps you're taking. A lot of people really got into it. It would be something so simple as maybe parking your car a little bit further and taking some extra steps into the building or maybe going up the stairs instead of taking the elevator. What's nice about this location in Chevy Chase is because it's a metro center, you land right where you need to. Um, and the bike racks are right outside the building too. So it's really nice to hear that the company cares enough about you to recognize that yes, commuting is a daily thing for you. Yes, commuting can be pretty tough. Um, here is what we offer that can help with that. You know, kind of ease a little bit of that burden. Our teleworking program began in 2006 and it was largely driven out of a, a resource constraint. We had, uh, we had a relatively small contact center and we had the need for more contact center representatives. So uh, we started to explore the opportunity of working from home. We provide them their laptops, all of the computer equipment. Um, we would actually install any additional phone lines for them to have in order to make sure that their teleworking is successful. And at the end of the month, what we do is we provide them 50% of whatever the cost is for them to 
um, use their internet and for them to use their phone lines. There's a lot of benefits to uh, telecommuting, but I think more importantly, uh, what we thought was a collateral benefit, but is probably a primary benefit, is uh, a very productive and happy employee. They perform better, uh, their morale is higher, they're not traveling on the roads in the morning, not traveling home at night, so their workday is, is full. Like over 12,000 miles uh, have been eliminated through the uh, either flexible work schedules or the telecommuting. So that's viewed very positively from us. And I think the company embraced the fact that it's a life balance. You know, we work a lot of time at Semeco, and as a result, they're trying to find an avenue to balance out the work and the home life. And I think with the um, flexible work schedules and the teleworking, it allows employees to feel like the company really cares about them. We are going to continue to expand teleworking and the compressed work schedule. It's been a very positive experience for us. Uh, we feel like we maybe just have scratched the surface of all the possibilities and try to dream up some uh, new approaches to uh, telecommuting and we'll, we'll see where the future takes us. But I think I'm very positive on the outlook and, and look forward to some new and creative alternatives.